You are listening to High Score 510. We're playing the games on the schedule as our modus and operandi. Yeah, I like also listen to General Bonnet before I work out. <laughs> Joshua <laughs> Belay. Stupid. Dude. It's inspirational, man. It's a road to redemption. It's a long road. Kyle, do you know who General, General, uh, General Butt Naked is? I don't. Go on Google or, or YouTube it. and put in Vice News, okay. Cannibalistic Warlords. Okay. It, it was the best documentary that All Vice right. News ever did. All right. They, Just because Cannibalistic that was Warlords the, is something you search off. <laughs> yeah. It is. <laughs> but it's the, it's the Cannibalistic Warlords of uh, Liberia. Okay. And there's a general there, General Butt Naked. General Butt Naked. General Butt I was thinking about it was like uh, Fleece Johnson or something. Fleece Booty Johnson. Yeah. I, I like Booty. I got him on here. Same wound for like over six years, and that was nothing said. Oh, that's a little loud. I could have done that to Jared after, <laughs> after. A, a, after he delayed my herniated disc recovery for like two years. Oh, yeah, I don't tell that story. <laughs> uh, you tell that story. That's a, that's a that story. That was that was that was that was like being in a in a car accident on the highway eighty, and the next morning, and like surviving it in the next yeah. morning Jared needing me to play in the 24 hour dodgeball tournament so and so, in, my, in my defense in my defense I was like in lower back pain for two years as opposed to like, like and, and I was all young so I didn't know like about chiropractic or any like actual your body recovers like, differently and cha- it, like yeah, responds yeah. differently Jared was like black and mild and Gatorade pal let's go bro let's smoke some blunts black and mild and Gatorade like black and mild blunts and Gatorade that 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 heals yeah exactly y'all didn't need that I went to go have an MRI. Yeah. All I needed was a black and a mild and a, and a gator. <laughs> Could have like, saved, saved people. Like the orthopedic surgeon is just like, uh, so after the x-rays, have you considered having a black and mild and a gator? Wait, how many black and mild? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. How many? Like, I mean, how hernia? We're talking about was it, hernia? Was, it, was it bulge or was it just a little bit out? Right, right. <laughs> you know, because I tell you. But, for, but fortunately, I'm... Um, I'm the type of person that actually enjoyed the fact that Jared did that to me, even though it caused more pain. I mean, 24 now, now I have a story. 24 hour dodgeball tournament. It, it was, was pretty awesome. Who was David Goggins there? It was. <laughs> I remember we beat the ROTC squad, which was this like amazing. Do you remember that? There was like this broed out military squad, uh-huh. and I had beef with all these like soldiers on campus anyway for political reasons, and like we met in the dodgeball <laughs> game and we <laughs> scraped them, and it was just like it was so epic. It was just right. like yeah, like we no. beat them. Yeah. So background story. So college. Uh, Dave, Pal and I go back to Davis days. We were in college we together. Before that, we go before way. that working uh, in, in camps together, but um, in high school. And you went to Berkeley High too, Jared. Don't forget. Oh yeah, that. I went to Berkeley. Apparently, told. Darius said somebody <laughs> claims <laughs> that I claimed that but I went Darius to Berkeley said High. You told us you'd be telling people. Did you go to Berkeley High, High for one year? Nope. That's what Darius told. Me. <laughs> Darius said. I feel like I've heard that. I've heard that. Jared went to Berkeley High for one year. Such a lie. Jared went to Berkeley High's orientation. You got a photo ID. You went back to Berkeley High and Davis. And and Davis Day. So I ran into Jared Davis. He's like, didn't we go to Berkeley High together? Like, oh, yeah. At UC Davis, they had a 24-hour dodgeball tournament. They started, like, probably our second, third year. And we had a – it was basically a 24-hour tournament. So it started at, like, 4 o'clock on the afternoon, like a Friday, and ended at 4 p.m. on a Saturday. And there was pool play from 4 p.m. through basically, like, 6, 7 a.m. the next day. And then, like, the elimination, like, bracket, like, the final bracket was made of after pool play was played. So you would be in a pool with three other teams. There's four teams, I think, or five teams. And like the top two teams from each bracket moved on, but basically it's pool play. So you got you had a match with every team, and you would play a match every two hours or something like that, like two and a half hours. So we, we had our first couple games, and Pal uh, hey, the night I before, was in a car accident on the I, was like, I was like, Pal, you ready to go? He's like, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I was like it's the I day of. Yeah. Well, it's the day of, and Pal's like, I don't know, man. Last night I got in an accident. I was like, accident? What happened? He's like, Well, you know, my frat brother was doing something stupid and. Uh, Basically, was trying to scare some some pledges and flipped the car on the eighty. And I was like, wait, like oh, when you say flip, you mean like he spun around? And he's like, no, like we literally flipped over, like Eddie Murphy in Forty Eight Hours. I've had a very bad day. 
<laughs> like that kind of shit. Like he, yeah. So, anyways. Yeah. See, I'm kind of in denial about the fact I was in a frat, so we don't tell that side of the story. Oh, yeah, so you yeah, want yeah. to omit the reason? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, all right, pal, 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 super educated, pal, super, right? super. It don't like pal, but it sure is, wasn't. It's like pal, it's like, pal, who are you hanging out with when you flipped the car, pal? Who are you hanging out with? So hanging out with Blake and Darren. <laughs> and Wilson, <laughs> Wilson was in the back seat. Was we were really trying to scare. It was, it was. That was like a spiritual moment, though. It was like after, after that, when I walked away from that car accident, uh-huh. that's when I was really like, "What the fuck?" Like, <laughs> like there's some dude with a head bag over his head in the back seat. Like the driver in the driver's seat is <laughs> drunk, and like, like I don't know this fool from nothing. Uh-huh. You guys are lucky you had them seatbelted in. Dude, I, I did. They, they, I like. I was like, you can stay here and deal with the cops. I have nothing I'm to do with this. Me. Kevin picked me up. Pal, I was like, yeah, Pal I walked Kevin across the freeway. Like, I was like, Kevin, bro. Like, he bow fingered across the freeway to like get the safety. Like, I need a ride. Somebody. Yeah. You, thank God you guys went to school in the cell phone days. That and, Man, and before the hit run law. You could have. Right. You, 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 <laughs> no, but I didn't hit run. I got. Hit. I just ran. I didn't do anything. I just ran. Yeah, you could have walked uh, three miles to the next blue box on the side of the highway. Just like that's the phone. Man, the boxes don't work. I know. I was in college before the cell phone. Because the crackheads were stripping them for the cables. Right <laughs> and those half the boxes don't work. Straight up well, this, side of the five well, because of those boxes. Anyways, back back to the story. So it's twenty four hour tournament. <laughs> I'm like, hey pal, being the being the be on the team, we almost won last year, we made it to the finals, we lost to the like the the athlete team, like the basically Davis Athletics team. We were like we all worked at the same place. It was like our work team. How many teams were in this tournament? Because there was a lot. No, no, this was this was a big deal. It was, so you're telling me this is an athlete team out there, and I'm. It know, was all right. So <laughs> it, was, it was a couple of dudes who used to play on the football team, or played on the football team, and played on the basketball team. Basically, it was like uh, the athlete team and like a couple of their lackey friends who like worked intramural athletics and always like, like basically gave them like, the calls free. and yeah, and basically like would play on their teams with them because they're like, I can get a T-shirt for winning because I'm gonna play with all the athletes. And yeah. I was like, you guys fucking suck. I hate yeah. all you guys. Yeah. So we played that team. Um, and we lost game seven. So it was every every dodgeball match was a seven, as best of seven series. So like it was some real shit. So like yeah, you play a team as best of seven, you win one round, you got to play another until you won for the first to win four. So yeah. we went seven games against the athlete team, and we lost basically. Uh, it was like two to one as time expired, and they just like stayed back. The year before or. The year before. So uh-huh. the next year, I was like, pal, we got, like, our team isn't quite I the same. I was the highly we, sought after. We, I was the hey, pal. <laughs> we lost. You know, pal used to be spry. No, no, I, I, got, I have the skill set for dodgeball. Yeah. You know, baseball. I was like, field like pal played chance. baseball. I was like, he knows how to throw. He you can throw it yourself. accurately where he wants to throw it. Yeah. He used to be. I'm wondering why you couldn't beat a football player because they wider than everybody else. No, because it was, like, all the, like, the former, like, linebackers and, and like, cornerbacks and safeties that were garbage. So I was like, pal, we need you, man. I was like, Bro, let's go. I'm gonna come through. I got some blunts. We'll smoke a black mouth, and we'll just like, you know, just get <laughs> just lube up, man. You need some hydration. <laughs> 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 they say they say you hydrate, you're good. I'm wondering. Hey, you ready to go? Jerry, I got a quick question. Do you think those were the same things I was in the Portland Trailblazers training room during the Probably. Like, like, like you go in their training room and like everybody else in their training rooms got tape and spat tape and ice and, and, and the jacuzzis and they just got black and mouths and some Gatorades. Like, like, and then loop Jer- up. Jerry got about that in Sports Illustrated. It's like, oh yeah, we're going to do that. I, got I saw Sean Kemp doing this before. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. I was like, man, I just Sean Kemp talking about this in, in Sports Illustrated for kids. I noticed it. I noticed it work. I noticed he in the general writer. So come on, pal. I got you looped up. Up. So what yeah. happened after you lubed them up? There's, so, there's so, gonna be like a thirty for thirty in like ten years where it's like game five in Toronto, and then all of a sudden there's a <laughs> security camera. You see Jared in the Warriors locker room talking to Kevin Durant. The game. <laughs> it's like, That's how he got hurt. Jared in there. They're like, here's what Sam Cooke, <laughs> what, what <laughs> Black and Miles and Gatorade. Get out there, KD. Hey, hey goes around thirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thirty for thirty. It's been a long. <laughs> what if I told you? That the, the worst advice before a game didn't come from an athletic trainer, <laughs> came from a guy with big hair. <laughs> My hair was still Sam, Cook, Sam Cook blazing on, the, on his fanny pack. Yeah, he just went black and mouth <laughs> while, rubbing, while rubbing tink <laughs> on his cap and saying, You can accomplish anything. Right. Yeah. Seriously, <laughs> hey, hey, it was. It, it, Next 30 for 30. I felt inspirational. You guys don't realize, you don't realize the work I did throughout that night. I basically stayed with Pal for 24 straight hours. 
hanging out with them. <laughs> so you let them pass yeah. out? So you, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You would. He didn't have ding, a concussion. Ding, 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 ding. Right, right, right. He didn't have a concussion. There's two in the morning. He didn't have a concussion there. I was able to be crank. Like, I got to keep him alive. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, we were playing. Like, we had a game. We had a game, like, at 11 o'clock. Then we had a game, like, at 2. the first game? 4 p.m., something like that, right? 4 p.m. Starts in the afternoon. Our our first game was, like, at 4.35, and then we played, like, at 8, and then we played, like, at, or I was like, yeah, like, we played at 11. And so, Pal, like, came out and, like, played the first couple games, and, like, I think he was still working on adrenaline, because he's like, I don't know, I don't feel terrible, but I know, like, I'm feeling a little, like, feel this a little bit. And as the day wore on, the night wore on, he started feeling everything way more. And so he's like, I got to go home and ice my back. So I went with him and hung out. And we smoked. I rolled some blunts. And uh, we basically just sat there and smoked while he laid, he laid on his bed. What else is in these blunts? Looking up at Jared. He laid on his bed. We're like 21, 22 years old at this point. So we're all like, you know how much energy we have relative. Yeah, yeah. It's like, so basically... Yeah, we were basically like just like getting water, and I was like, "Pal, we'll just roll, we'll listen to music, chop it up." And he's sitting there on his like laying down, icing his back, like, "Oh, okay, okay." And the main thing was like not letting him fall asleep because if he had gone to sleep, there's probably not gonna be able to get him out of bed. And I was I'd feel bad doing that, so I was like, if I don't let him go to sleep, I don't have to feel bad about having to wake him up. We hotboxed the car before we went into the game. We just basically were just like smoking for like 24 straight hours and just kicking it. And it was like me trying to like, you know, like motivate pal. Like, nah, you got this, man. We good. Nah, you're doing great. We got this. You got this. We need you, man. We need you. You got this. I so, need winners. I want winners. How many people are on this team? It was like um, each match was six starters, six on six, but you could have subs. You could rotate. It uh, was hell of fun. How do you do subs with dodgeball? Well, like. You put your six on for the start of that round, oh, and they okay. play it out. Mr. Parnell, our friend, shout out to Albert Parnell, Natoma Slim. Natoma Slim was uh, on a team too. You remember Albert? The Is that your me? team? He's on our team. Remind me of him? Albert, he was a cap up, uh, worked Big in the Al? Ad- Big Al Johnson. Big Al Johnson. Yeah, all right, all right, yeah. Albert. Yeah, he's he's he was tight. Yeah, because I uh, sure would. He was on the team. College, even at 21, 20. <laughs> How many years did you play in this dodgeball game, Jerry? Just two years. Just two years? Yeah. Did you win it that year that you did all this to Pal? No. No. We no, lost we like in the semifinals. No, we had a good run, though. We, we definitely had, had a good We got to like the semifinals. And we beat the ROTC. We beat the ROTC. Oh, yeah. So the ROTC <laughs> team had, like, had face paint on. They had their uh-huh. camo. Dude, they had like camo. camos on. They had, <laughs> some of them were wear, some of them li- really were wearing like boots. Uh-huh. Like it was like, I was like, why are you wearing boots, bro? Like put on some tennis shoes. You're, You're playing on a hardwood court. They don't do that with basketball. They haven't even served yet. They were like trying to get PTSD. They were like, yeah. can't wait. They were they were they were super about it, but we we mopped them so hard. We were like, yeah, I was like, yeah. I was like, no. <laughs> usually, all, usually, usually all to see it are not left. Powell throw the ball. I was like, stop the military complex. Uh, uh. Oh, my back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got to go ice my back, y'all. I'll see you in two and a half hours. I'll see you in two hours. We'll be back. I'm like, don't worry. I got him, y'all. We got this. We got this. Let's go, Powell. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Powell oh, throws man. the ball. Power to all the people. <laughs> all power to all the people. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, man, that was it was that was a good time. That was a fun time in life. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you know, I, I take credit for uh, having uh, uh, motivated somebody to play mm-hmm. through an injured back and yep. uh, finishing out a tournament, even mm-hmm. though we didn't win at all. Anyway, should we? Be the man, I am today without that. Nah, nah. Neither of us would. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, well, anyways, should we start the show, y'all?